one Novrich SSR4. They're a good little base gun. This one has had its gearbox casing changed to an Ultimate slash Lonex. The motor is a warhead, it's got a Perrin hybrid inside. Classic Army M16A2 grip. It's got an aftermarket Sistema gear, the bevel. It's got an aftermarket pinion on the motor. I've done no short stroking. And it fucking rinses. Hey man, what, what have you been doing recently? Well, um, as you know, I haven't been active recently. I've been underground looking at some things. And I've decided. Nims it means nims it. I don't know what I'm that means. Sick and tired of people telling us we have to use life bulbs, we have to use lithium ions, we need a gate tiger in fucking everything. That's not the way airsoft should be. We should be allowed to have clean gearboxes if we want them, but they stole that from us. Who stole they it? They stole it. The other side stole it. We deserve our freedom from MOSFETs. I should be allowed to use a NIM freely wherever I want. I shouldn't be constricted by You've gone too the far. LiPo media You've gone too tells far, us. You've gone too far. You, you keep going down this right wing route, you're going to end up in NICAD land, okay? What's wrong with the NICAD? We should raid patrol base. And now for something completely different. Very, very cool. This one just blows gas clean through the system. I've not worked on one of these in many years, so I'll just have to remind myself how to do it. Okay, it's taken me ages to work through this enough that I can make this, uh, I can make a video for you. So, the taking it apart is very simple, getting it back together is not quite as simple, but it is basically the same thing. You'll need to find whoever makes these O-rings, okay? Right now, I'm just removing it. I'm going to try and figure out, that's very dry and very brittle, I'm going to go try and find all of those O-rings. Unfortunately, buying O-rings is not as simple as you think it might be. It's not necessarily the o-ring that's the problem it's the spring the o-ring size that you need doesn't exist so you might have to find somewhere to get o-rings this one is slightly smaller and it's a five by two millimeter but hopefully It will just become the size that I need. On the bottom of there, the thin end of the spring. And then you drop that into that hole. And that is your blow valve. It's shit, isn't it? So I'm going to grease that. And I'm going to use LT2 because I really want this to hold. Now it was holding with your ring, with your with your other uh, O-ring. It was kind of holding gas, but after about 15 shots, it wouldn't hold gas anymore. A bit more LT2 around here. The bottom of this doesn't leak. That goes in there. 
that goes on there. It's oversized for a reason, because you can see that that is crap. Little tap, and that's it. That should hold gas. I've only got a little bit of this left. And it does. Okay, I'm gonna prove it as well. Holds gas. No leaks, listen. Okay, so that's that. When it fires, that's all it does. What you do now, is you put this unit back in here. It's a little bit of a tight fit. It does go in, but it is just a tight fit. It has to be so that it can hold that O-ring in place. There you go. And then that. You look in the back. There it is, and now it's seated. All right? Don't do these two Phillips head screws up too tight because they are only self-tapping into the plastic. Okay, so just a little tiny twist is all it needs. You get the other one. There it is. Now you're gonna have to do this frequently. So it's best that I show you that it can be repaired and then you learn how to do it. And basically keep it gassed and try not to use it. The only pins that I've removed, you can see them here and here. Those pins sit here and here. Long one at the top, short one at the bottom. You just slide that in. And then you see that part there? That's your hammer. That's the unit that rotates the cylinder. That's your hammer. So it's gonna feel like it's under mad pressure, and it is, but it's meant to be. So that goes in here. Can't do it, so it sideways on. And you'll see it just wants to slide in. But it will stop about there. The reason that is, is the hammer is right here and it's touching the back. Remember the valve that you have to knock it downwards to make it fire? It's touching the back of it. So you need to lift it up just over the valve. Like that. And that's basically it. Big pin goes in the top. And again, it's only the plastic that's holding that in place. So you've got to be bit more careful than you'd normally be. You use an actual. Press the bottom piece in. Apply the second pin. Make sure you do it that way around. All right. I'm gonna leave the cylinder open for a second. It's the only gas I've got left at the moment. It's cold, so I'm gonna put a little bit in there. Ready? I'm gonna close that, okay? And that's it. So, that was all the gas from that little tiny squirt. Grip screws back on. The grip screws are only held, again, by the tank. So don't go mad on it. Bit more gas that time. I'm gonna put four BBs in there if I can find a speed loader. One, 
Oh, so one in that side. One in that one there. One in that one there. Okay. Again, I don't know what weight you had in there. One of them is going to be whatever weight you had, but I've got so I think I don't know what weight they are. I was going to show you it works basically. No reading. 0 0.73, 0 0.63, 0 0.62, 0 0.67. Okay? Done.